Welcome back to the Big Jimmy Cigar Review. You can call me DJ, and today we've taken a look at the Habano Bourbon Aged Connecticut by Perdomo Cigars. This was the first cigar I had ever smoked, and it was horrendous. It was awful. It was a terrible experience, and I'd love to tell you are, and I'm looking forward to smoking this cigar again. The Perdomo Bourbon Barrel Aged Connecticut uses an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, aged for at least six years prior to being aged in a bourbon barrel for another six months. It is blended with a mix of long fillers from Candega, Jalapa, and Esteli, Nicaragua, delivering a mellow to medium bodied profile with rich creamy blend with subtle nuances of the bourbon barrel finish. I'd love to tell you more, so grab a drink or a smoke if you got one. And let's get right into the review. Before we jump straight into the review, you heard the voiceover, you heard, you saw the beautifulness that is this bourbon aged barrel Connecticut cigar by Herdomo Cigars. Let me throw up a caveat real quick. I love Perdomo cigars, okay? The champagne is, in my opinion, one of the best $8 cigars, flat damn, period. But now that I've said that, let me tell you a little bit about this cigar and my experience with it in the past. You wanna fast forward, I'm gonna hold a link down below to get you right to the review. But for those of you who wanna know why I'm excited to smoke this cigar again, I told it, uh, I asked y'all a little while back to help me identify this cigar, because all I had was a picture that looked like, well, I'll just show you the picture. Probably a couple months ago, I asked y'all to help me identify it, and some of y'all straight up went detective mode and identified this exact cigar. So this cigar here and I have a bit of an interesting past. As I said, this is our first ever cigar. Never smoked a cigar before in my life. This was the first one. I was working a golf tournament. Guy working the cigar booth pulls me over and he says, hey, you want one of this one? This one's one of the good ones, okay? Know nothing about cigars. I chug it in my backpack. I let it sit there all day. I'm talking all day. I'm talking 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. when I get home. Then I put it in a Ziploc baggie because you, you should put cigars in a Ziploc baggie. I don't know. That's what I thought. Keep it safe, you know. Ziploc it. Ziploc the cigar. And then I left it on the counter for about a week. And it just sat there in the dead of summer on my countertop, baking in the sun for a week. Finally had time to smoke it again the following week. Didn't have a cutter, used a knife, cut the messed up the shoulder, had the cigar slightly unraveling on me by the time I even started lighting it. And then all I had to light it was was these cheap, shitty matches. Took two puffs, threw the cigar away. I took two puffs, wanted to throw the damn thing away. I didn't inhale or anything crazy like that. I was just like, this is awful. Why would anyone do this? This is a good one? What? Anyway, it was a horrible experience and I never wanted to smoke a cigar again afterwards. So I am excited to smoke the cigar again. But in order to do that, we gotta stop yapping and start smoking. That's smooth as hell. Hmm. Give me. You know what? Give me one second because I wanted to do this for a little while and uh, let, me, let, me, let me show you all what 120 looks like, okay? What do I think about this cigar? <sighs> you know, it's good. It's real good. It is very velvety creamy. Like not just creamy and smooth, it's velvety. Thick, thick velvety cream to it. 
really good, really good in that sense. Um, we got a lot of pepper, mix of red, white, and black pepper. All of, them, all of them are here. You got pinches, you got wrenches, you got stabs, you got subtlety to it, you got spiciness to it. It's good, it's really good. It's on the red, especially through the retro. You got a red throw to get most of the peppers. Sorry, wife got back from a trip to the store and I'm parked on her side of the garage and I didn't tell her I was smoking while she was gone. So I had to finagle the, you know, you get it, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. No, you don't care, you don't care about the cigar. So let's talk about it. You definitely get the bourbon, which I also get why that would have been a freaking turnoff as your very first cigar. This should be no one's very first cigar. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's also aggressive. Through the nose is where you get all those peppers. Not a lot on the drop. If you are not a retro hail type of person, this is gonna be a smooth, creamy, woody cigar with hints of bourbon on the, uh, the finish. The finish is where the bourbon builds. The longer you kind of just let the cigar smoke sit and build in your mouth, the longer you're gonna get kind of that, that bitter, indicative, like bourbony taste. It's nice. It is similar to their kind of, I can't think of what it is. It's another one of their Connecticut cigars. I've only ever smoked it in the petite Corona size and that thing packed a wallop. But yeah, creamy, very Connecticut-y, you know, that kind of just basic Connecticut flavors here, but with a little bit of aggressiveness to it because there's a lot of spat peppers and spices on it. And then you finish it off with some nice bourbon. And it's smooth. Like I said, they aged for six years and then six months in a bourbon barrel. It tastes like aged tobacco, 100%. So much spice on the retro. It is, it is, a, it is a, a little stab of white pepper that immediately burns to like a punch of black pepper. And then afterwards you get a little tingle of the red. At least I do. It's good though, beautiful cigar, smooth. It's burning okay. We're not like, not too far into it. We got a couple of gaps like right there. But overall, that's a nice, perfectly smooth spot right there. You know, as long as it doesn't canoe, it's gonna be just fine. Mm. Well, let me smoke on under this. I'll get with you. Once the flavors have mixed and melded and, and blended together, although there's not a lot, there's not a ton going on here. There's just not. Um, don't get me wrong, not, not in a bad way, in a kind of Connecticut cigar type of way. There are very distinct flavors. It's checking those boxes. It's smooth, it's velvety smooth, it's thick. I just, how the fuck did that happen? Look at that. <sighs> not built for hand talkers, I suppose. It's smooth, it's mellow, it's a medium, it's not a mild. Mm -hmm. It's a mellow to medium. If you don't retro, it's a mellow. If you, you retro, you get a lot more of the wood and the heaviness of the tobacco as it builds and coats your mouth. Humid out here, my hair was getting funky. Made it to the band, as y'all can see right there. Burning the band just a touch. I'm shooting TikToks, kept choking myself on the smoke and puff, puff, burn, puff, puff, burn. Ended up burning the band. But it's a Perdomo, so they got the nice fat band with a fat glob of glue. Beautiful, I'm gonna check this out real quick. Put my cigar down. All right. Look at these bands are gorgeous, man. Just ornate. I love the kind of burnt brown. Looks good on the cigar. Hey, nothing to complain about. The more I smoke it, the more I like it, 100%. It is no changes, except maybe the flavors are dying off and it's more tobacco focused now, and the bourbon is picking up. Now that's not bad in itself. However, the bourbon leaves a very bitter taste in your mouth. The finish of this cigar is bitter. It's bitter wood, which is not great. Like that's a turnoff, huge. Um, no one wants bitter wood in their mouth.
But other than that, it's a good smoke. It's a little heartier than your traditional Connecticut. A little heartier. Uh, solid medium. Wouldn't say medium to full, but medium and then just woody. Very woody cigar. Heavy in that sense. It's heavy wood. Really rich. A little bit of earth in there now that we're getting to, to this point here. It's good. It is good. I don't remember what I paid for it. I think between 10 and $11. Um, I know the vintage aged ones were around 10 to $12. I think this one was slightly cheaper because it's not the 12 year aged vintage. That was right above. I'm sorry, I have a bit of a photographic memory. I'm trying to see the price because I didn't get the receipt. Mm, I did, I threw it over there somewhere. <laughs> I remember now. Good smoke overall though. Let me get back with you at the final third, final thoughts, and I'll let you know. Overall though, it's a Perdomo. And that, I think I've said that before. It's a Perdomo. I didn't really need to know. Find me, thank you. Right here, all right. I lost my hat, I don't know what happened to it. Cheers. Final thirds, final thoughts. We've come to the point where pretty much everything that was this cigar is gone. It just tastes like straight up tobacco with maybe a hint of bourbon. Um, it's fine. It's nothing amazing at the end here. It's good. Uh, it's a solid tobacco core, nice aged tobacco. The wood dropped off significantly on the end, which I liked because it was so much wood. It was just all wood. It's nice. It's a perfectly fine cigar at this point. If you were to smoke the whole cigar and it tasted just like this, it would be a very fine $5 cigar. To typical, <clears throat> typical cigar flavors, a little bit of, uh, uh, not kind of good, cedar, a little bit of cedar wood, a little bit of spice, a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of pepper, um, but really nothing that blows me away at this point. It's a fine final third. No nuts introduction, nothing like that, that typically, not typically, but has happened in the past with final thirds that I don't love the middle part. Um, nothing really exciting. Got myself a rock star to help kind of balance out the bitterness that was going on, and that 100% worked. Uh, it was just very, very bitter, very bourbony, and just like, too much. It was no longer a, a flavor note. It was just bitter bourbon with cigar and nothing. There wasn't like a nice balance. Uh, it's died out to the point where it's just a perfectly fine cigar. It's okay. It's nothing amazing, but it's good. I'm not gonna nub it. It's getting very, very hot. And the smoke output, as you can tell, is dying because obviously there's only this much left to burn. Would I buy it again though? Probably not. Uh, it just doesn't tickle my fancy that much. I think there's better Perdomos out there. Nothing wrong with it, just not my, I, I wouldn't buy it again for myself, but I would buy it for a friend, as I said before. It's a good cigar, very fine cigar. Um, price isn't too crazy, but you can get, maybe it wasn't $10. I don't remember. I don't remember the exact pricing. I know it wasn't as cheap as like the Champagne, which is an $8 cigar. Uh, good stick though, overall. I would rather smoke the Champagne, personally, I don't, love how much the bourbon added to it, but that's that's on me. That's my personal preference. If you love your cigars with bourbon, you probably would love this freaking stick. Good stick, good quality. Uh, one touch up, that was the only burn issue. Bitter every now and then, but I think that was literally part of the flavor profile. And yeah, perfectly fine cigar, adequate. Not bad, not, 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 not great or amazing, but good, solid cigar. Wouldn't buy it again, but I would definitely buy it for a friend. And that's, let me know, have you had this cigar down below and what did you think of it? And are there any other Perdomo cigars you think I should absolutely smoke on this channel? I think I've only done one of the Lot 23s, so I wanna explore that more because I know that is a line people love. I love the Connecticut and I'd love to try the other two. Comments down below, comment to different Perdomos you think I should try, what'd you think of this stick? And I hope you all are having a great fucking day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTuber things. And as always, you can call me DJ. Thanks for watching PJ, and let's see you.